In this video, we will be taking a look at the scale command in AutoCAD Architecture 2015. I'm going to start with a new TD template, same template that we've been using all along. And I'm going to create a box that is four inches by four inches. And what we're going to do is we're going to scale this box down 50% so that it is two by two. And you need to know this command, especially when we do some of the furniture design and architectural type stuff in later units. So we're going to get our first chance to take a look at that. So I'm going to come up here to my modify menu and I have a whole bunch of different options and I'm looking for the scale command so I'm just going to go through here and see if we can find it I didn't see it up above there so I expanded it and let's see your mirror okay so here's our scale command so that's going to allow us to enlarge or reduce selected objects. So I'm going to left click one time to activate the scale command. And I'm going to come down and take a look in my command line. My command line says to select objects. Well, in my drawing, I'm going to select all of my objects because I want to scale this entire box. Now, my command line still says to select objects. For me to tell it that I'm done selecting objects, I'm going to press enter on the keyboard. And now it's asking me to specify a base point. The base point is where our object is scaled based upon. So if I select the bottom left hand corner as my base point, that corner point is going to remain in the same place and the rest of my object is going to be scaled down based on that base point that I select. So I'm going to go ahead and left click one time to select that as my base point. And if I just move my mouse, I can see that that base point, that point I selected, that stays stationary and the rest of my object is being scaled based upon that base point. So if I take a look in my command line, it says to specify a scale factor. Well, I want this scaled in half, which is 50%. So if I type in 0.5 as my scale factor, meaning 50%, and I press enter, that will scale my box 50% down to 2 by 2. And we could come up here and put a dimension on it just to verify that it is 2 by 2. And as you can see, it is 2 by 2. And that's the premise of how the scale command works. And like I said, we're going to use this a lot in future drawings, especially when we do furniture design and some architectural type stuff. Um, but just to review, if I want to take my box, now you can also select your lines before you select your scale command, and it just saves that step of having to uh, go through and click each one. We're going to locate our scale our base point, click maybe right here, and maybe if we want to do a scale factor and bring it back up to four inches, I'm going to do a scale factor of two, meaning 200 percent, and enter, and then that should be back at four inches, because it's multiplying each side by two. An additional way to scale an object is we could select our box, we could just type in the word scale in our command line and press enter, that works, and then select our base point and scale it. Another way we could select our object, we could right click on it 
go to basic modify tools and we could do a scale from there as well and again specify the base point so there's about 10 different ways to scale an object and you can kind of pick which one works the best for you and which one you like the best